track the people we have to meet today in Carmel or get out of your classes at 2.30, don't forget to tell your last period teacher. So if anybody's interested in uh, watching us run, come to Carmel. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, our documentary viewing is tonight at 6 o'clock in the theater. And um, so it's going to be documentary discussion, kind of what we said last time. Um, everyone's welcome uh, if you're eighth grade and older. Also, for the discussion, we're dividing up into adults and students. So, yeah. And there's going to be free food. Yeah. Okay, swim team, we have our last meet before MTALs. It's the all girl meet at Catalina. So, well, no, but guys, you still have to be there too because we're timing for it. Uh, the release time is 2.30, so get out of class then and ask your teachers for it. And uh, Also, swim team, can we meet at the flagpole after break? We need to discuss our coach's birthday. Yeah. Um, also, Quiz Bowl will be taking a hiatus for the rest of the year. We'll be resuming that. Uh, we'll be starting back up again next year. So no more Quiz Bowl for the rest of this year. Capture the flag game during lunch tomorrow. It is up on the lower soccer field and it's seniors versus everyone. So bring it on, the seniors. Jester and Langdon, is that Dr. No? Never mind. <laughs> said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. When I was a little kid, I remember staring intently at a poster on my bedroom wall. At that time, the iridescent purple butterfly caught my attention. But underneath that beautiful image, bold letters read, passion propels your dreams. Naturally, I would later understand the limitless impact of these words. As I grew up, I realized that the message on this poster was the key that would unlock the door to my desires. It all began in preschool with a container of crimson colored paint. The, the ability to express myself through vibrant colors came alive on the page before me. As I spread the paint across the oversized page, I sensed a sort of contentment in the fact that I can combine different shades of red orange, and yellow to create a bright mural of color. I never left a single patch of white on my pieces of paper. And I never stopped painting. Painting in my mind, on paper, and through all of this, expanding my ability to express myself through different mediums. By the time I had turned 10, I had discovered an additional passion of mine. Theater. In theater, I, lear I learned to convey messages through my words and actions. I also developed a desire to improve my skills and excel in singing, dancing, and acting. But most importantly, I developed the ability to fall completely into the moment. For me, every minute spent on stage is a moment of total awareness. This capacity to be fully present and to be someone else at the same time is a type of freedom which is difficult to find anywhere but in theater. This capacity to express myself propelled me toward my most recent passion. It started here at York when I walked into French class. I knew that learning a new language would be different and difficult and just challenging, different from anything I had ever experienced. But from the moment I sounded out my first words, I was totally and utterly hooked. I realized that I had come upon a most unlikely passion. Over time, I developed a desire to express this language as fluently as possible. I know that French is difficult and sometimes it's frustrating, but because of French, I've learned so much about myself and about the world around me. Over the years, I've learned that passion isn't something that you search for. Passion is something that finds you. I've had the experience of finding three things that I love to do with all my heart. And I know that we are all capable of finding our passions, whether it's art or sports or school, or things that just make us happy. 
Whatever it is, when we feel passionate about something, we feel happy. And we, when we find happiness, we are able to find a sense of peace in an increasingly complex world. AP exams start next week. And uh, we, we just want to re remind all students that are taking AP exams a few things about uh, attendance during APs, and then also for students that are not taking APs. Uh, the majority of those AP exams will be offered in the gymnasium, and so if you're anywhere near the gym during lunch or tutorial during a free period, uh, early in the morning before school starts. Would you please be on your best behavior, be respectful to the students that are uh, giving their best to, to the exams, and be respectful of that uh, testing area. And then for students that are taking morning exams, uh, you are welcome uh, to go home, uh, sign out after a morning exam, but if you are expected to be on campus for a co-curricular activity, a sport, for example, then uh, teachers expect you to stay on campus for classes. If you have an afternoon AP exam, uh, you are welcome to call the front office in the morning, let us know that you're staying home to study, and then come on campus for your afternoon AP exam. All that's in the faculty uh, student handbook if you need to review it. And we know that you've been putting a lot of time and energy into your AP classes. I'm, I'm sure you are uh, very appreciative of all the work that you're teachers have done for you as well, uh, but we're wishing you the best in the next couple of weeks as you take those tests. Thanks. Are you guys familiar with the uh, little application called WhatsApp? Some, some of you? You guys know that, that Facebook recently bought WhatsApp for, what, like 16 billion dollars? So there's a technology and innovation summer camp coming up that I would like to share with you all. Uh, July 7th through 16th at, C at CSUMB, um, the, uh, the registration is like $50, but there's also a lot of uh, financial aid available. So if you're interested in that, at CSUMB, it's going to have uh, computer science professors and local teachers there. Application deadline is May 5th, and uh, you'll hear about the acceptance by May 15th. If you're interested, see me. Last minute changed the venue, so it's at a different place. Uh, it's at the Monterey County Office of Education. We have new info sheets, so please all math leads see your teachers to get the new info sheets from us. Before the contest, Saturday. Um, you know how much I love giving this kind of announcement, because I grew up thinking at the age of two and a half, you know what I want to do? I want to be fashion police. That is my deepest, darkest desire. <laughs> so here I am to say to you, you are all so incredibly adorable that I understand the desire to reveal some of that adorableness. <laughs>
when you dress in the morning, just be sure you're checking from all angles and you're not revealing more than a workplace of repute should reveal. Right? So just check the back view, maybe bend over. Think about what it's like to put your backpack on if you have a carried backpack. Is it going to make things hike up unpleasantly? Disaster. So thank you very much for filling in with an aid station that was understaffed. We had um, four students who cut up cardboard for me. Thank you so much. We had parents, we had grandparents, aunts, uncles even volunteering. And um, people helping with the 5K registration. That, I heard that was great and there was really a great need for our services there. So thank you to all of you for all, of, all that you did for the Big Star Marathon. Please wear your blue t-shirts with pride. Maggie Sterling and I are going to make some announcements about some Latin awards. It's about this uh, time of the year, every year. Um, we stand up here because we're so proud of, uh, of the accomplishments of, uh, of our students. This year, over 150,000 students across the world, all 50 states, including North Dakota. Uh, in 20 countries, every European country, uh, uh, including uh, Croatia, the UK, Taiwan, uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa, uh, New Zealand, Japan, Italy. This is truly a worldwide competition. And uh, we're very proud. We're very proud of what, what, what you people have done. Um, Marcus, uh, Marcus with Sanford is going to go through uh, her two sections of Latin 1, and then I will go through Latin 1, 2, 3, yeah, okay? Okay, so receiving recognition cum laude, Evan Lee, Kyle Borchester Moore, Xander Laney, Audrey Bailey, Don Lawrence Ganong, Nick Sullivan, Christian Coe. Receiving a certificate and a silver medal for Maxima Cum Laude. Ian Lee, Michael Hein, Finn Berry, Megan Ting, Isabel Sharp, Han Nguyen, <laughs> sorry, Joseph Burks, Jesslyn Deanda, Madeline Sharp, Jared Aldape, Kira Waits Williams, and receiving a gold medal and the certificate of Maxima, I'm sorry, Summa Cum Laude, Amy Cho, Leka Duoguri, Kaden Aga. When you graduate from college, you will undoubtedly be uh, uh, asked to join honor societies, and you would graduate perhaps with cum laude, with praise, uh, magna cum laude, with great praise, maxima cum laude, with the greatest praise, or even the summa, the highest praise possible, right? Um, in my section of Latin 1, cum laude, Sarah Allen, uh, magna cum laude, Chloe Horning, Henry Blowell, Lauren Sugar, Targon Clark, Maxima Cum Laude, Silver, silver Medal winner, winner, Jojo McGuire, Mason McCollum, Ariana Rod, uh, the highest awards, uh, Jack Wilden, Audrey Dost, and Andrew Johnson, who missed one out of 40, 39 out of 40. Yeah. This is a phenomenal event. This is an incredible class. 17 students, 17 honors. This, is not, this does not happen. 
this is amazing. Cum laude, Joseph Reed, Andre G, magna cum laude, Paloma Ruiz, magna cum laude, Claire Simmons, magna cum laude, Tegan Malk, maxima cum laude, Betsy Sugar, maxima cum laude, Emily Musto, maxima cum laude, Paulina Cobb, maxima cum laude, Liam Pham, maxima cum laude, Alexander Davies, maxima cum laude, John Yeager, Maxima cum laude, Emma Cushing. Maxima cum laude, Hannah Cooper. Maxima cum laude, Isabel Sandler. Maxima cum laude, Jennifer Bacusi. Summa cum laude, Cassidy Houseman Mason and Ray Wang. Level three, magna cum laude. Benjamin Nixaria, magna cum laude, Liam Holm, maxima cum laude, Eleanor Bennett White, maxima cum laude, Jack Scott, summa cum laude, Philip Dolorimie, summa cum laude, 39 out of 40, Keo Holm. We uh, can studies your gas, Latin. Uh, which we believe is uh, equal, if not better, than an AP course. Cum laude, Matt Hyde, magna cum laude, Matt Hyde. Magna, cum laude. magna cum laude, Austin Eaton, magna cum laude, Renel Nassau, summa cum laude, Nina Lawrence Ganon, summa cum laude, Victoria Pete. Summa cum laude, Haley Barnell Geller. 39 out of 40, summa cum laude, Emma Finch. Alright, guys, have a great day. Class.